and they were bringing even their babies to him so that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they began rebuking them. But Jesus called for them, saying, Permit the children to come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it at all. Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Steve Mapp, and I'm so glad that you've taken a moment or two to join us for our devotional for this morning, this Friday, August the 20th. It's always de a delight to uh, to share time with you uh, in these devotionals. And this morning I've been reading uh, this little passage from Luke chapter 18. Um, Jesus is trying to teach his disciples and the community about kingdom living and what it means to to live the way of the kingdom of God, which is why Jesus came to us, was to bring the kingdom way to us. And uh, it kind of fascinates me uh, uh, that, uh, that here he is looking for uh, the children to come to him because they are such an example uh, that he uh, wants to share with all of us. This Sunday is an important Sunday in the life of Winfrey, and it, it, it happens each year. We, uh, we have what we refer to as Promotion Sunday. Uh, it's a Sunday where we spend time uh, recognizing not only our Bible leaders, our Bible study leaders from our children on through the adult ages, but it's a time where we actually have a promotion of uh, our little children into the next level of their learning. Uh, we have a, a moving on up uh, period uh, where uh, the children that were in the children's ministry are now moving into the uh, into the youth ministry, and and it's a really big deal uh, for us, and and we make it so because it is so important uh, for us to be able to. Uh, provide uh, children, adults, youth with outstanding Bible study. You know, Jesus says, permit the children to come to me. Do not hinder them. Uh, that word permit uh, can mean lots of things in the Greek language, depending on the context in which it's used. But here Jesus is using it in telling uh, the disciples and the parents, send the children forth yield them up to me, allow them to come to me. Don't stand in the way, don't block them. Uh, it can even mean to uh, give up something to someone, to yield it, uh, allow it, encourage it. And that's what Jesus is doing here. He's saying to, uh, to the parents, encourage them to come because they, uh, more than anyone, exhibit that ability to receive the kingdom ways. Why? Because and we all know this, children are so eager to learn. They're like little sponges and they're so exciting, so excited to learn. They, and they trust the teachers. They trust uh, their parents. They trust adults. And to be able to uh, allow our children to encourage them, uh, to yield them, up to good Bible study and good teaching from the earliest moments where they begin to learn uh, all the way through our oldest days. Uh, it's just so important because it's in that teaching and that learning and that discipleship that we do learn about the kingdom of God. We learn the kingdom of God way of life because that's what that is. It's a way of living and Jesus came to us to give us abundant living. And so indeed, the more we can learn about Jesus, the more we can practice kingdom ways. As I thought about this this morning, I thought about uh, four names, Robert Storch, Bob Taylor, Ralph Harmon, and Mike Geiger. Now you who are listening to this have probably never heard those names and don't know that you necessarily would, but these are my Bible study leaders and teachers from my earliest childhood days 
through my teen years until uh, I became a young adult. Those four people, and I remember their names, I remember their teachings, I remember the, the eagerness with which they wanted to present God's word to me and to teach me about Jesus. They made it exciting. They made it, uh, gosh, they, they, they made me want more and more of that. And, and we are so blessed at Winfrey to have the wealth of experience and knowledge throughout all levels of our teaching. And so this Sunday, we're going to, we're going to say thanks to those folks and we're going to recognize these children and we're going to permit them uh, to come forward and receive their, their Bibles and to, and to move on up into the next level of their learning. It's a big day uh, at Winfrey, and I hope that you'll be with us. But as importantly, I hope that you yourself are finding uh, a Bible study to, to be a part of, to learn uh, more from, and to uh, encourage one another. Uh, in kingdom ways that that we learn through instruction through small group and bible study it is so foundational for us it's so foundational for our children um, and i just pray that uh, uh that you're encouraging uh all of that within your family truly i say to you jesus says whoever does not receive the kingdom of god like a child shall not enter it at all oh wow Let's take a lesson from the children, shall we? Let's be open and trusting and obedient uh, to kingdom ways. Hey, thanks a lot for, for being a part of our, our devotion this morning. Um, I hope you can join us on this Sunday. Dr. Benjamin has just finished a, a five Sunday series on the parables and we'll begin a new series as we uh, come in on, on this Sunday. But we pray for you each and every day. We pray for your safety. We pray for God's blessing. Thanks for being a part of us. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care now. God bless.